Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is my review, The Legend of Korra, Book 4, Balance, Episode 4. So quite a bit happened in this episode, and once again, I thought that it was a very good episode, okay? Seriously. There's quite a bit to talk about here, so let's just get into it. First off, those these three fucking siblings here were really good in this episode. Seriously. Like, oh my god. I actually felt kind of sorry for Iki in this episode, the way she was always being left out. And I, th and she did say say something this a hint towards something in this episode, which I kind of get was, which was like, you know, she's the middle child, so she's always being sandwiched between the two of them. Now I'm an only child, so I can't really say that I understand that. You know what I mean? But I can still kind of. But it, I do realize that this does happen in families a lot, so it's actually very realistic in that regard. And there's also Janora. Who, Denora, for a lot of this episode. Also, one more thing about Iki. Uh, she's shown to be a very nice and compassionate person in this chapter, or in this episode. Maybe a little bit too much, because she even f got along with her kidnappers really well. And, I mean, maybe that's not the best message to be telling to anyone. <laughs> um, you know, so maybe that's a bit iffy right there. You know, but still, she's a very really nice person, but to a fault, almost, okay? And then, of course, there was Janora, who, for the a lot of this episode, was trying to locate, uh, or she was trying to sense Korra's energy, but couldn't, okay? And at first, it's played up to actually be uh, Janora's fault, like, she just can't sense it, but later on in the episode, it's real that it's actually Korra's fault, because she's lost touch with everything and everyone, so, because of that, even if someone has the ability to sense her, they still can't sense her. So I really like that as well. And then, of course, we also had Milo in this chapter, or in this episode. And I just have to say, me, me, the sass between Milo and, or c combining together both Milo and Toph in this episode was off the fucking charts. Okay, seriously, it was so fucking amazing. Like, I, I think it should be no surprise to anybody at this point that Toph is my favorite Avatar character, period. I fucking love Toph. And, dear God, when, me, when, when Milo first saw her, she was like, hmm, or he was like, hmm, old, or, uh, what did he say? It was like, old, cranky, blind, you must be Toph. And then Toph was looking at him and was like, I like this kid. Or, or whatever. Oh my god. The sass of these two characters together in this episode was so priceless. Not just in that one scene when they were actually together, but also during all the scenes they were separate in this episode, which was the majority of them, obviously. Seriously. It's so good. Like, it really is. Okay. And really, I just love seeing the three siblings working together in this episode. But oh, but my favorite thing about this episode, though, was actually seeing Korra finally get in touch with everything and everyone again. Not only so she could be found, located by Janora, but also so she could metal bend the uh, metal out of her body, or, or the platinum out of her body, okay? <sighs> Which was really good as well that she was actually able to do that because she was unable to enter the avatar state with them in there and immediately after she got it out of her body she entered the avatar state which was amazing okay seriously it was now and I really like that it was because of talk that she was able to enter the avatar state in the final season now another line I liked about Toph in this episode was that she actually brought up the three previous villains in in this series, okay? You know, you know, she said, Amon wanted equality. Uh, whatever the villain was in second season wanted to bring this want, wanted to bring the spirits into the world. And whoever the villain was in third season, I don't remember either of their names, wanted freedom, okay? But they all went too far. I don't know if you'd really call it corrupt. Well, I don't know if you'd call it corruption on Amon's part. It just had a shitty ending because of shitty writing. But still, 
These, all of these ideologies can be corrupted easily. And she's trying to prevent that from happening to Korok. It's even the ideology of bringing balance to the world can easily be corrupted. Okay. That's what's happening with Kavira, Kavira right now, in fact, I think. And so, because of that, Korra realizes that the world needs the Avatar more than ever right now, which is something that, you know, we've been saying forever now, that the world needs the Avatar now, more than ever. Because Kavira is basically, the I consider her to be the dark side of Korra. She wants to bring balance to the world, but she's taking it too far. Okay, and that's why that the world still needs the Avatar right now. Okay, so that's pretty much what happened in this episode, and it was a very good episode as always, okay? Now, kind of sad to see Toph exit the series, but she, who knows, she might appear in it again. I really hope that she does, because she's my favorite char character, and really, I think it'd be awesome if all the char major characters ended up get, appe appearing for the final battle, including Toph. That, I think that would actually be really cool. Okay, because, and, you can't, I mean, Korra is, I think she's going to be unstoppable now, because there's a, I think there's a reason why Kavira has amassed an army for herself. It's not, to, it's not to help her with her plans, it's to stop the Avatar if the time should ever arise for that, which obviously it would. Okay, so Kavira is definitely trying to prepare, because she knows that she won't be able to hold the Avatar down. She won't be able to hold Korra down. She realizes that okay so anyways overall i loved this week's episode of cora it was so fucking good okay it really was <laughs> like <sighs> if you have yet seen this week's episode of cora then i definitely recommend that you do i cannot wait for next week's episode of cora Whew. anyways overall i hope you enjoyed this review guys see you after guys thank you for watching Bye bye